Okay, regular Reno Mage. We should win this one, but uh, you never know, I guess. Because we can, we can Totem, Totem Golem, Evil Totem, Coin Totem, Flame Wreath. 477 is just so threatening versus these guys. Yeah, Splitting Axe. Okay, we'll take that too. <laughs> Let me bring the mic down a little bit closer. Okay, guys in chat, remember there is no backseat gaming, and uh, if you backseat game, you will literally just be banned. So do not backseat game because this is a tournament, and that is definitely not allowed within the rules. So please respect the rules and uh, do what is right, and do not backseat game. Oh, the full draw, dude. You hate to see it. I think we, we definitely totem golem here and we attack. Do we ever coin the totem? Next turn we're going to be on... Two mana, so we're gonna play the evil totem for sure. If we coin totem now, we get the totem up earlier than if we coined it with the evil totem. So I'm gonna do it now. It's not an amazing play, but I assume that he's probably gonna kill the one one, and so the three totems that we want copied are totem golem, evil totem, and not the one one. So pretty happy with that. Okay, that's a main deck secret, so let me check what secrets he plays. Flame Ward and Ice Block, so we have to check Flame Ward. We'll stick with our plan of playing Evil Totem. Um, Probably going to have to drop 4 mana 7-7 seven, seven here, and then build up the totem slowly, and then splitting axe, but this hand is really solid, right? Just a crazy amount of value, so. So that's going to pull Ice Block out of deck. <clears throat> Man, we could just set up really easily for a good splitting axe next turn if we just make the trades, because... Flame Wreath, the 0-2 dies, and we want to get that Lackey value. Um, so I think we do this. And then I'm actually going to buff one of these totems, because it copies the effect. Um, I guess we could just get 0-6 Taunt Totems. That seems pretty good. Because I don't want to buff up the... Uh, the evil totem, because he could just trade into that before the taunt totem. Um, let me see if he runs any like mid range clears. No, he's got he's got nothing. The only thing the only thing close to what he's got is rolling fireball. Do we ever play around rolling fireball? Actually, we can play around it pretty easily by just playing might. He can still rolling fireball this, but it only takes two attack off board. Which makes it way worse. Okay, so if we weapon, we've got six attack, so that's not going to cut it. So this has to be a devolve. Yeah. We'll trade this just to make sure the only totems we have on board are, like, really good totems. And, uh, fuck it. Why not make this thing indestructible? Just make it a 0-8 totem. Because if we ever buff its attack, it becomes a 2-8 minion, which is worth, like... I mean, he pays 5 mana for a 2-8 minion. 
though his 2-8 is a little bit better than our totem. Hey, Ghosty, thanks for being here. Um, if you if you check the rules, there's no backseat gaming, so if you could if you could assist in enforcing that, that would be wonderful. Um, yeah, because I want to be following the rules as closely as possible. Okay, so if we just copied those two, those the zero four and the zero eight, that seems really good because I don't think he can clear. He doesn't even run Amazing Reno, so anything we put on board is pretty safe. Yunez KD, thanks for the follow. What's up, Balan? Two, three, okay, well. We don't have a good way to trade unless we play. I guess we could just play. <clears throat> Actually, I do like this better. Then if we play the 477, we can follow up with the Vizina, which is better. Normally, I would play the Totem guy, but uh, the Totem guy is probably going to work for quite a while. And, uh,. The Vecina just does so much damage. The free heal doesn't... <laughs> it's pretty good as well. The way you beat mage is you go wide and tall, especially these late game mage decks that don't run like board clears. The best thing he could do is Zephyrs here, and it really doesn't seem like he has Zephyrs because he would have just played it. Okay, so we should be able to pop block here. Oh, we don't have any overload. That's pretty lame. We can give him heals and put Gen on board, or like we could, because we kind of have to trade in the one ones, right? Like, yeah, it gives him six health, but it's more about like just maintaining such a good board presence that he never comes back. Yeah, giving him all that health sucks, but uh, it's not that big of a deal. 50-50 if we roll totem that we get the wrong one, so probably not worth it. And it just does not matter if he freezes the, uh, the 0-8, right? Because the 0-8 wasn't attacking anyway, so we'll just leave it like that. Oh, if he gets the flame strike, we might just lose the game on the spot. Mm, we have like no way to come back from that. It's just like he maintained the board until he was able to play this. All of our guys are one ones now, so it's just uh Okay. <laughs> All right. He high rolled us. Um. Okay, so we can still play the shaman. He banned our druid. So I mean, we just keep jamming the shaman because it's gonna, it's gonna win, eventually. His Reno mage is off the table. 
Okay, this is Odd Warrior. Odd Warrior, we should dumpster with Shaman. How are we doing in the tournament so far? Uh, this is the finals. This is the finals of the tournament. The thing is, it is actually really hard for them to clear totems over and over again. Because he can click the button every turn, but the button doesn't give him value. Our button does give us value, and it's very affordable. <laughs> Which means that like, when I get this board down of zero twos, it is a threat. It is a threat, because when we splitting axe, it's scary, but he can't do anything against it. I think that uh, if you play it properly, uh, Odd Warrior could be favored in this matchup, but I don't trust most players to play it right. Oh, this hand, dude. This hand is going to be the death of me. <laughs> I need like a Surge and a Might at the same time, which I don't think is going to happen, given that we only draw one card next turn. So he does run Super Colliders, so we just keep the Taunt Totem. Well, I don't know, maybe we should put it even down here so that it's even further away <laughs> from uh, where he can actually attack. Did you win the previous game? I did not. The thing is, is that his decks aren't very good, and even if he gets through with the first two decks, he's going to really struggle to win with the third. What is it? I banned Warlock. So he's got to win with Druid against uh, Reno Quest Galaxy Mage. Not going to happen. Shaman. Not going to happen. And Greedy Ass Warlock. Not going to happen. The Jade Druid is just too weak. The Jade Druid is too weak against the decks that we brought, so it just won't work. Final round? I know, Anthony. I'm playing in the tournament. I'm quite aware. You have to bring four decks? Yeah, it's a best of five. Oh, this this is going so badly. We like imagine this game if we just found Totem Golem. <laughs> imagine the difference if we had just found it. But I don't think we're winning this one. Yeah, I think we're gonna lose to Odd Warrior. Alright, so maybe we can just Axe again, and Totemic Might, and maybe we draw Surge off the top. Uh, Vecina's cool, but Vecina's only good if we draw Overload cards. I don't think we've drawn a single Overload card all game. 
Yeah, because our overload cards are Squall Hunter, Flame Wreathed, Totem Golem, and Crackle. And we haven't found any. His hand is so full. Sometimes his hand is full of, like, brand cold light stuff, but he's got two cards in, in, in hand that he kept. He's still got them. So that kind of indicates that he just has clears waiting to go. And, uh... <laughs> This, this is pretty hopeless, but it's a tournament game, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep playing this one out. The last game, there was just, like, no path to victory whatsoever. I think there is a path to victory in this one. It's just Omega difficult. If he armors up, he goes to six, which clears most of the board. But I can also... Well, the thing is, is that if he has Reckless Flurry, it's pretty good no matter what, so... I guess I should have just gone face if I expected Reckless, but that's two Reckless down. His remaining value cards are Brawl and Brawl and Super Collider. And Super Collider. <laughs> so he's gonna hero power shield slam this, like, for sure, for sure. One chance that we have, and it's so stupid, it's so stupid, chat, but one chance that we have is just to, like, play until the end of the game in hopes that he use his clears so aggressively that we actually outvalue him with the totems, right? Because if he if we make it to fatigue at the same time, we win, right? Because because we have stuff and he doesn't potentially. I mean, you never know. He played Baku, so he can't he can't he doesn't want to clear this board. Probably just wants to trade in hero power, which would be good. It's not not bad. The thing is, Stormbringer is good until you consider the fact that he's got two kept cards and one of them is just guaranteed to be Brawl. There's no way that we can lock him out of Brawl with Stormbringer, right? Like, we would have to... Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any legendaries that stop it. Even just this play, doubling up on spells, it's like... The average warrior spell is pretty darn good at clearing. If you have... if you, Well, the average discovered warrior spell. I've found that with Volpera. Could be, could be worse, I guess. I mean, that was a good play. That was a good play from us. But again, I feel like he still has Brawl. I think, I think this far left card is Brawl, and I'm pretty darn convinced of it. Wait, 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 why would he trade? Why, why? Wait, he traded before Brawling, dude. You just read the text on Brawl once and you know not to do that. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Alright, we're out. <laughs> we're out.
Okay, well, the Shaman's got to get a win at some point. So he's won with the Mage. He's won with the Warrior. Now we just got to get through Jade Druid with, with Shaman. Okay, this is like... We should be able to do this, chat. The thing is, the floops list is pretty good against us, and if he hits the, if he hits the Vargo high roll, we just like lose, right? If he just hits um, Oaken into Vargo, we lose because there, there's no way that we have that we can contest that on board. And the amount of residual value that Vargo provides, plus the twelve armor, plus the three nine taunt, uh, we would need to evolve in hand, right? That's the only way. Um, we'll play Might on these just to protect them. He has one kept card in hand, and I'm really worried that if he doesn't play a card this turn that it just is Oaken. And if it is Oaken, it's really easy to lose um, if he hits, because it's not quite a 50-50 because there's a chance that he draws either of the cards. Um, so that's another high roll that we could technically count on, but yeah, what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, hero power surge, getting the surge on all the minions and like getting the max amount of damage for it is, is good. Like just bursting with surge, but might, might is, might is more for protection. So you usually play might a lot earlier than surge. That's one thing I found from Memnarch. Dude, this is a this is a dangerous board. <laughs> Oaken into Vargoth Zoldrak is like the only way that he saves himself from this. I mean, poison seeds is really bad because it's one of two resources, and we clean up. We, we play flame wreathed. What was I thinking of again? <laughs> no cheats, please. Please do not cheat me. Okay, thank god. He doesn't have Oaken in hand. The sand is mega winning, so, like, if he's gonna do something like Biology Project into Plague, which is totally normal, um, then we can't, uh, like, we can't give him extra stuff. We can't make this a juicy a seeds or a juicy plague. That would be a losing. Having to use Starfall against one guy being this deck. So again, we're gonna pass. We're gonna pass on hero powering, because we expect we expect plague. But the thing is, Vecina is actually good against plague, because we trade with the seven seven, trade with the three three, and then we do four damage to three more of them. Evolve 7-7 seven, seven into 5-drop. I guess if your plays are literal throws, chat, I cannot count it as backseat gaming. <laughs> we have Maelstrom if we need, but I don't even know. Hmm. 
his Jade Druid is just going to struggle so much to get a win against our deck. Because our deck is like so tuned to beat it. Okay, so we are just assuming, we're assuming no second plague here. Second plague, we could beat it with the right cards. Our hand right now is not very good against it, but we're, we're assuming no second plague. I mean, this puts him in just such a dangerous spot. Kept Starfall in the opener. I don't think I agree with that, but... So that's both Starfalls, one Seeds, and one Plague gone. It means he's just running out of shit to clear, and we've still got most of the value left in our deck. He doesn't run any Battlecry minions, right? The only Battlecry minions he runs is Ysera and Feoris. I guess he could play Ysera next turn. Are we allowed to help you? No. You will get banned if you do. But just a temporary ban. You can come back in the next stream. <laughs> if he's got Ysera in hand, we just bricked Ysera. We also kind of bricked our own lackeys, which is like, whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> Draconic lackeys are, are pretty enticing here, just because they are so much value if you hit the right guys. Man, I really want to devolve just so that we have an answer to Plague, right? Because if we have an answer to Plague, then nothing in his deck scares us, right? Plague is the only last thing that scares us besides Poison Seeds, but it's pretty easy to play around Poison Seeds, right? Just have a big board and have devolve in hand. Five is typically a pretty... Five is... I think it is the, the mega low roll with Crackle, but... I mean, we have Squall Hunter on board. I don't know. <laughs> five is still good, right? Two mana deal five to face, overload one. Obviously, we're, we don't care about having all of our mana next turn. Don't you dare plague me without me drawing Devolve off the top, dude. Don't you dare do it. Okay, that's fair. He probably has drawn Zoldrak by now. I think it's what? More likely than not that it doesn't pull Zoldrak? I guess he knows. Yikes, we'll take that. Okay, now we have Devolve. He has no Starfall. If he plagues, we win. <laughs> this feels pretty good, chat. I guess King Feoris would be a little annoying in case he high rolls the right minions. That's like the one thing where I'm like, okay, maybe that'll do it. But also if he, like 90% of the time, he just misses the right, he just misses minions and we devolve and win, so...
He's gaining a lot of health, but the, he needs defensive tools, like... He just does. Night Azarkas, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. He burned Howl and Spellstone. Feels bad. He has no branching. He's got one Oaken, but probably already drew the Zoltrac. Um, yeah, the only thing he's got is Plague, and we just have the Devolve, so... Pretty sure that we win next turn, unless there's some, like, weird events. Oh, he plays Zoltrac and then Plague? No, come on, dude. Come on. At least make it close. Okay, finally we got a win. So, uh, we won with the Shaman, he banned the Druid, so let's play the Mage. The Mage beats the Druid too, because the thing is, is that there's just no amount of armor that can stop us from absolutely steamrolling him, if, as long as we get Pocket Galaxy down, like, within the first 15 cards. Come on. Um, just so you know, chat, uh, the tracker is slightly off. In my real list, I started playing Big Ol' Whelp, but uh, in the tournament list, I'm playing Alexstrasza. So that Big Ol' Whelp is not in my deck. I can fix it. Actually, I can, I can roll back the version, I think. 2.0. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, God. Deck tracker, you're drunk, dude. Okay, well, he puts us on a ton of mana. What the f- <laughs> He's got nothing, dude. We've got all this mana, let's draw some cards. I mean, maybe he just- he just- like, kept Bio Project, Bio Project, Overflow. I didn't pay attention to how many cards he kept, but if he just plays Overflow... <laughs> Dude, what what is he kept that he can't play for seven mana? That's what I need to know. It's not really worth it to play Doomsayer, is it? Because we don't- we want our Luna to live. So we freeze this guy. We do this. I feel like I'm- I feel like he just kept, like, UI in the opener or something really strange. I, <laughs> what card did he kept that he wanted to ramp? For one, two, plus four? He still hasn't played that opening card. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> really confused by this guy, but as long as Luna just lives and we just draw and draw and draw, that's really strong. 
Okay, shuffles idols. Elite gamers get draw four. Now we go face. <laughs> okay, so how close are we on the quest? We're at... F oh, Jesus, we're at four, dude. He doesn't have enough armor. <laughs> oh, we can complete next turn, like, mega easy. All this mana he gave us was, like, a, was a massive mistake. <laughs> he kept UI. He kept a ten mana card in the opener chat. And he didn't kill Luna. At some point, is it just is it just abuse to beat someone this bad, chat? You can count on me. I'm certified. The tools of Pretty sure this is just illegal. Oh. I just lost the tournament. Oh no. I just lose the tournament. <laughs> he's at he's at a really low health total, so it's possible that we like really cheese him out. We still can, right? If he doesn't find the right cards, but Wow. Luna's so scary with a full hand. Maybe that was his goal, chat. Maybe that was his goal. I don't know. Dude, he didn't trade him! He didn't trade him first. Someone explain this to me. We can still win this game. Brand Zephyrs will give us what? I think Zeph will give us. Will it give us mass to spell? Probably will, right? Dude, Luna keeps overdrawing. Feels bad. We play, yeah, mass to spell. We go to, we go to nine. We gain a card. We go to ten. We'd overdraw one if it were mass to spell. I don't think there's an easy deal five that we have. The only thing is like. I mean, it's not going to work with the quest anymore. Alright. Had to play something. If he poison seeds, we're okay, right? Because we can play Pocket Galaxy Arcane Giant. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he has the he has the mana to to plague again if he's got the other one. What? No, dude, that's insane!
He's still in trouble because he if he keeps using these clears, like we have more boards. We have more boards, we have more answers. We can get dude, if we if we Luna's into one mana Dragon Queen Alex Traza, that can just win the game by itself, right? Like that particular play might be the dumbest play in the whole game. Like the most busted, absolutely insane. Plague? Both seeds gone? No, dude, that's just bad. That's Omega bad. At this point, against Second Plague, Second Plague is a guaranteed amazing Reno. We just we just don't even play. We don't care about it in the slightest. Completely ignore it. Because now we can play the book and we can just, like, if we... Yeah. Amazing Reno can cheese us out a lot of stuff. Sometimes he tries... We could also use uh, Amazing Reno to stop if he makes a bunch of big Jade Golems on the same board. Okay, Malph is whatever. Learn Draconic is just a free 6-6. Six, six. But we need to get hand kind of low. So I actually like this more. Okay. <laughs> Hello? I don't know, I've seen Hearthstone do that so much to me lately, and I don't know why. I thought it only happened on other servers, but I've had it happen to me on, uh, on NA a bunch, too. I don't know what that glitch is or what's going on, but... Yeah, Brand Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, Pyroblast, regular Alexstrasza. Doesn't he just insta-lose? Burn the quest! Still won! Still won! Okay, so Druid is banned, we won with the Shaman, we won with the Mage, we are queuing up the Warlock. So we actually have to play the Warlock against the Druid, and the thing is that the Warlock just wins because I made it slightly greedy. Now, chat. <laughs> chat, look at this Warlock list. It, it, hopefully Deck Tracker pulls it up right. Yeah, we cut we cut the two eggs. We cut the two extra eggs for uh, Umbra. <laughs> for Umbra and Merchant, a.k.a. it's a free win. It's the freest win of my whole life. Um, I might keep Doomguard here. Yep, that's why. So this is the type of game where we just uh, don't play Void Lord if we can avoid it. <laughs> if we just get no Void Lords down ever, we're totally okay with that. Oh my god, chat. He doesn't play any weapon destruction either. Keep that in mind. He could be on he could be on 30 mana and he wouldn't be able to stop this dude.
The death rattles are so good too against Druid. If you just keep death rattles down, they lose. Because they can't pop, like, they can't deal with uh, with the results of the death rattles. They can only deal with the cards that are currently on board. So if we want, we could save Faceless for uh, Merchant and just get like 10 Goldans and guaranteed win. But ultimately, uh, Umbra Merchant's good enough because Umbra Merchant gives us four. Four Goldans wins because anything, anything more than two Poison Seeds threats is like a free win against Druid. Fuck, dude. If he actually hits the Zoldrak here, it's unbelievably good for him. Because he can double up on so many spells that just beat us. I don't know. Let's just get two Malganus. <clears throat> Fuck me, dude. Save Mistress for Plague. I don't know. I mean, he's got to use something to deal to deal with this. So maybe it's not that bad just because we hit the good we hit the good skull target. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's gonna clear. Okay, so that's one seeds down. And keep in mind, again, we have four Goldans this game. We we can play Goldan four separate times, as long as we greet it out properly. The the things that he does doesn't matter. Because those things aren't, like, more than two poison seeds. That was a sick turn. Like, not gonna lie. Very sick turn. But, it, it, again, it, he can shuffle his entire deck. A bunch of idols aren't gonna stop him. Though you gotta hate how good Floops is, though. Is not... Just cleared, like... 25 attack worth of minions and then played UI on top of it. It's like, oh yeah, I guess that's decent. I think we'll trade just because we don't want him to have... We don't want him to be able to pressure us, really. If only... Ten attack, yeah, and branching gets him up really high. Like if he he probably does have a branching in hand too. The thing is, is that we should be able we should be able to save ourselves with the right cards. We dodge void lords, which has been good to this point, but we can actually use one now. Okay. He just played the second idol, so. He doesn't have the value to go the distance. But he did... Yeah, he's, he's smorking like we expected. How efficiently can we, can we take down this board? Plague is what we need, really.
Wow. Didn't find a plague, lost the tournament because of it.